Hey y'all, it's Ashley with Heart for Home. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk to you about how we plan our homeschool week, what we do to prepare for it for the week ahead, and how I organize my child's bookwork. Um, we have been in school for a month, and when we started out, we were doing it a little bit differently than we're doing it now. And I was gonna show you what works for us and what doesn't work for us because we have found through trial and error. Okay, so let's get started. were doing um, every Sunday night I would pull things out of my oldest son he's in fifth grade I would pull things out of his math I would rip it out of his math I'd rip it out of his English I would rip it out of his uh, science and then I would print off his book study from beyond the page and I would put it in this binder every Sunday night okay this is what I would do. I'll show you real quick up close what the bookwork folder is supposed to look like. So you start out and each, each subject has a tab. This is his math. And as you see, can see, there's nothing in his math because it has all been, it has all fallen out and it has just stuffed it somewhere else. And then here's his language lessons. And his language lesson seems to have stayed a lot better than his math. And this is his book unit lesson that he does from beyond the page. And then this is where his science went. And what I would do is on Sunday night, I would just write out what he needed to do that week, every Sunday night, just that. And then he did a little journal entry every week, every day, I mean, for the week. And then memorizing his Bible verses was in here as well. So in theory, this binder system works wonderfully. Um, we chose to go with the binder system because I am pregnant and I tend to go to the doctor a good bit because I'm at the end. So like every week I'm going to the doctor. So my child needed something that he could just grab just one thing and take it with us. However, it does not work the way that I thought it would work because all of his pages are coming out they are literally coming out and then he's having to stuff them and he's losing them and it's not working the way that I thought that it would work um, like I said in theory it sounds wonderful but in all actuality he is a 10 year old boy who is a little bit on the wild side and it tends to just make a mess plus also on Sunday nights sometimes my, my days were hectic and on Sundays I just was not getting to be able to pull it out and then restuff it. So on Monday mornings, I was flying through trying to get it done. Another issue that I had with this is whenever I would try to take it, I would, like, whenever I would have to take all this out to put new in, I have to do something with the old papers. And he has holes and it's all crumbly and it looks awful and so then I would have to just stuff it in another binder. I tried to do the little circle tabs, you know, to fix it, but it was just, it was every hole, both sides. So it was just way too much work for me. So, and plus he hated it. He complained so much. He was always complaining that his stuff was falling out. So he didn't even like it. So since then we have switched and honestly, I like this system so much better. It's so much simpler. And instead of a week at a time, I can do the whole year or a couple months or however I want to do it, that's, it's so much simpler. So I will show you. It is called the tab system. It looks like this. And I will give you real quick, let's, I'll turn the camera around so you can see exactly how it works. Okay, so this is the tab system. We actually started using the tab, tab system on week four of our homeschool year. So how it works is every week, by the end of the week, he has to get to the number that he is on. So during week five, at the end of week five, 
he will actually be at the week five tab. At the end of week six, he will be at the tab week six. So it's a kind of a tiny bit backwards, like you would think that at the end of week six, he would start at week seven, but actually he hits that end of the week, he hits that tab for that week at the end of the week, if that makes sense. So let me just show you. So let's say he just finished week four, okay? And now it is Monday and it is week, Monday of week five. So Monday of week five, he would read this and then he would do this page and this page because he has to do, on Mondays, He because he tries to finish on Thursday, so he does a little extra on Mondays. Mondays are his heavier day. And then every day after that, he would do a page. And then that would get him to week five, the end of week five. So then on week six, on Monday, he would start here, and then he would do it again until on Friday, he would be here. And then on week seven, he would start here, and then he would go to week seven tab. So that is how we did it. We planned out just 12 weeks. You could plan out the whole year if you wanted to. I am having a baby and I figure it'll be somewhere in here. And I wanted to have a little couple extra weeks just in case. And then here is his math. It looks the same as well. So that is how we are doing the tab system. He seems to like it a whole lot better. Um, the only issue that we have found with this is we do have a 16 month old and she, if it's left out on the table, she will come and pull the tabs out. They're not in there very well. In fact, I probably could go in and put some tape and reinforce them in there. Okay, so now you know how I organize my child's bookwork for the week, what we do to prepare and get ready for the week ahead. Um, like I said, it used to be a lot more work, but now we've gone to the tab system and it is so much simpler. Um, you'll have to let me know if you've used this tab system before and if you like it and the pros and cons for you. Also, if you've used the binder system and let me know what you think. We still use the binder system for my youngest, but he's not in his, he's preschool, so he's not, and it's all laminated, so he's not even in his book like my oldest was, so it still works for him. So you'll just have to let me know how it works for you. If you liked this video, if this video was helpful for you, if you would please give it a thumbs up, comment below and let me know, and then if you will hit that subscribe button and then hit that bell, then you can be the first to know when I post more videos. I try to post one weekly or two a week, so just, yeah, I hope y'all have a great day. Thanks, y'all. Bye.